Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge, the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You give them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, to grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, O Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the joyful mysteries. The Annunciation Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day all daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Visitation O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The birth of Christ, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Presentation O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. <clears throat> blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him in, with glory. He has clothed him with splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, we entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Jubilee prayer for the Dominican for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and, and have, have our being, we praise, praise you as we, we gather, gather in gentle, gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican, Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we praise you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim. This love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, 
in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, that our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity finding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Kindly be seated for a moment. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the memorial of the translation of Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic. This memorial celebrates the first translation of the remains of Saint Dominic who had been buried in the church of St. Nicholas of the Vineyards at Bologna. Many people were healed at his tomb, yet his brethren were reluctant to acknowledge these miracles. Finally, at the urging of Pope Gregory the Nines, Dominic's remains were moved to a marble sepulchre. This translation took place on Pentecost Tuesday, May 24, 1233, and marked the beginning of the canonization process. Upon its completion, Gregory the Ninth canonized St. Dominic on July 3, 1234. In 1267, Dominic's remains were moved to his present tomb. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people the flock he shepherds. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Forty years I endured that generation, I said, There are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Thank you. 
Please be seated. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, Say, go back, sons of men, to your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury, for guilt lies open before you. O secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger. Our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly, and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger, and fears the stress of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent, is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Because the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Dominic prayed without ceasing both night and day. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steep and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Sela insult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero, like a warrior he stirs up his ardor. He shouts out his battle cry. Against his enemies he shows his might. I have looked away, kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown, I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord, praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving, 
for the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, he let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by, our, by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sirach. To the penitent, God provides a way back. He encourages those who are losing hope and has chosen for them the lot of truth. Return to him and give up sin. Pray to the Lord and make your offenses few. Turn again to the Most High and away from your sin. Hate intensely what he loathes and know the justice and judgments of God. Stand firm in the way set before you in prayer to the Most High God. Who in the netherworld can glorify the Most High in place of the living offer their praise dwell no longer in the error of the ungodly but offer your praise before death no more can the dead give praise than those who have never lived you who are alive and well shall praise and glorify god in his mercies how great the mercy of the lord his forgiveness of those who return to him the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the just exult and rejoice in the Lord. Let the just exult and rejoice in the Lord. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. Let the just exult and rejoice in the Lord. Then I acknowledged my sin to you. My guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. Let the just exult and rejoice in the Lord. For this shall every faithful man pray to you in time of stress. Though deep waters overflow, they shall not reach him. Let the just exult and rejoice in the Lord. You are my shelter. From distress you will preserve me. With glad cries of freedom you will ring me round. Let the just exult and rejoice in the Lord. Please stand. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty he might become rich. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, 
a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments, you shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud, honor your mother and your father. He replied and said, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words, so Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men it is impossible. But not for God. All things are possible for God. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Meron ako isang alam na kwento. Ito ay tungkol sa isang mayaman. Mayamang tao. Ito ang kwento ito. Mayaman siya, matagumpay, makapangyarihan. Ang mga anak niya ay uh, matagumpay din pag-aral sa ibang bansa at uh, maraming maraming silang pera at uh, makapangyarihan siya sa kanilang bayan at uh, lagi siya no, namumuno sa kanilang bayan. At dahil siya ay uh, maraming uh, kayamanan, mataas ang, uh, at malakas ang kanyang kapangyarihan, maraming tao na sumusunod sa kanya, marami siyang utusan, marami siyang... Uh, Well, tinatawag niya mga kaibigan. At sa kanyang uh, uh, pag-iisip, no, nasabi niya sa kanyang sarili, kung ganito ang buhay, no, mayaman ka, makapangyarihan ka, maraming tao sumusunod sa iyo, no, bakit ko pa kailangan ng Diyos? I have everything. So why would I need God? And uh, some years later, that man died. And uh, he left everything. No? Iniwan niya lahat. Lahat ng kayamanan, lahat ng kapangyarihan, lahat ng kung anong meron siya sa mundong ito, hindi rin niya nadala kung saan man siya pumunta. Hindi natin alam kung saan nas, nasaan na siya ngayon. Sapagkat hindi naman siya si marahil naniwala sa Diyos, o marahil sa huling sandali ng kanyang buhay ay naniwala siya sa Diyos, at hiniling din niya na siya ay papasukin sa kaharian ng Diyos. Hindi natin alam. We can never know and we can never tell. Only God knows, and only God can tell. Kakaiba ang kwento na binasa natin sa Ebanghelyo ngayon. Ito ay tungkol din sa isang mayaman, medyo bata pa, no? mayamang mayaman. At uh, siya ay uh, naghabol, nag tumatakbo. No? At si Jesus ay paalis na. Actually, patungo na sa isa, kanya pang, patuloy sa kanyang paglalakbay. Marahil ay isang beses ay uh, nadaanan ng isang mamang ito, no? mayamang mayamang mama. So, uh, narinig, narinig niya no, ang pangangaral ni Jesus. No? Dahil wala namang namumutawi no, sa, la, sa mga bibig ng ating Panginoon kapag ka siya'y nangangaral, kundi ang tungkol sa kaharian ng Diyos, tungkol sa, sa kalangitan, sa langit. No, kaya nga, kahit siya mapunta man siya sa dalampasigan, no, gagamitin niya ang kwento tungkol sa mangingisda at iahambing niya ito sa kaharian ng Diyos. Kung siya ay nasa mga kabukiran, no? ay ganun din. Ikikwento niya ang tungkol sa mga magsasaka at paano ito maihalintulad no? sa kaharian ng Diyos. Laging tungkol sa kaharian ng Diyos ang pinapangaral ng ating Panginoon. At marahil sa isang sa mga tagpong ito ay uh, napadaan ang mamang ito na mayaman at uh, narinig niya. Marahil sila ay naghiwalay na ng landas. 
ang ating Panginoon ay patuloy sa kanyang paglalakbay at marahil ang mamang ito ay patuloy din no, sa pagpapatuloy ng kanyang buhay no, sa araw-araw. Subalit, napagtanto niya, ano kaya ang ibig sabihin ng guro no, tungkol sa kaharian ng Diyos? Kaya humabol siya at lumuhod. Lumuhod sa harapan ng Panginoon at nagtanong, Guro, Master, what must I do to have eternal life? So, tinanong niya ang Panginoon. At uh, ang sinabi ng Panginoon, sundin mo at gawin mo kung ano ang inuutos. Ano nga ba ang mga inuutos? At iniisa-isa ng Panginoon no? tungkol sa uh, ilan sa mga utos no? na nagmula doon sa sampung utos na uh, binigay ng Diyos kay Moises. At ang sagot ng mama, Panginoon, mula nung bata pa ako, ay sinusunod ko na ang mga utos na ito. At uh, alam ko, hindi ako nandaya, hindi ako nangalunya, hindi ako nagnakaw, hindi ako nagsinungaling, at sinusunod ko ang aking mga magulang. And the Lord was happy. No? And the Lord, looking at him, loved him. But then the Lord said, you lack one more thing. Isa na lang. Sabi niya, isa na lang gagawin mo. And then he was so waiting no, for that one thing. No? And he was so willing. No? He was very interested in the kingdom of God. And then the Lord said, Sell everything you have and give it to the poor. That is the one last thing that the Lord is asking of him. Sell everything you have and give it to the poor. He can do it, but he did not do it. His face fell. No? Bumagsak ang kanyang mukha at malungkot na siya ay tumalikod. No? Tumuloy sa kanyang paglalakbay sa lungat kung saan papunta si Jesus. At uh, ano ang dahilan? Dahil sabi ng Ibanghelyo natin, for he has many possessions. Maraming marami siyang ari-arian. Maraming marami siyang kayamanan. And it was thus too much for him, no? too much to ask of him to give up everything. Parahil ay hindi pa siya handa. Parahil para sa kanya siguro ay tuwang tuwa na siya na ipagmalaki sa Panginoon na siya isang masunurin. Sinunod niya ang lahat ng uh, mga utos. At parahil ay ito ay sapat na. Subalit sa kanyang kabiguan, narinig niya sa mga labi ng Panginoon, kulang pa ng isa. Be a blessing for others. Remember others. Love your neighbor. And you have the capacity and you have the ability to love and to give and to share what you have. But then, he was not prepared. No? Parehong mayayaman no? yung uh, aking kinuwento sa inyo mula sa aking kwento at mula sa kwento ng Ebanghelyo. Kaya masasabi natin, galit ba ang, ang Diyos sa mga mayayaman? Ang sagot ay hindi. Hindi. Kaya nga naptuhayan natin, no? nakita natin kung anong ginawa ng Panginoon, ang ganda-ganda ng ginawa ng Panginoon. He looked at Him and loved Him. No? So mahal ng Diyos. Lahat tayo, mahirap o mayaman, no? maputi o maitim, walang kulay, walang uh, lahi. No? Lahat, lahat tayo. Mahal tayo ng Diyos. At hindi tinitingnan ng Diyos kung ano ang laman ng bulsa natin, kung ano ang laman ng uh, uh, bank account natin. No? He loved all of us. And it's not because of that, uh, the wealth of the man no? that, Jesus, that they were not able to, keep, to enter the kingdom of God. Wealth is good. Kaya nga nandyan yan, yun ang pinagdadasal natin. Marahil naman ang inyong mga dasal ngayon ay, Panginoon, ibigay mo ang hinihingi ko. Meron akong gusto. Meron akong hinihiling sa'yo. Sana, marahil kasama pa nga sa dasal natin, sana tumama ako sa loto. No? Sana suwertehin naman ako. Sana umasenso na ang buhay ko. We ask for that. We pray for wealth. We pray for possession. Because we know in our hearts, it's not bad. It is good. But what makes it bad? Our love for it. Kaya nga sinasabi, it's not money that is the cause or the root of all evil. It is the love for money that is the root of all evil. Kasi kung kahit mayaman ka at maray kang pera and you are willing to let go of it, no? and you love the Lord more than what you have, 
then you become good. The, the kingdom of God also belongs to you. No? Natatangi at nararapat din sa'yo. No? Kaya hindi galit ang Diyos. Kaya nga, nung tinanong ng Panginoon ang kanyang mga, mga alagad, sinabi niya, mahirap talaga pumasok sa kaharian ng Diyos. No? It is really difficult to enter the kingdom of God because you have, you don't only have to desire for it, hindi sapat na gustuhin mo lang ang kaharian ng Diyos o makapunta sa langit. Kailangan mong pagsikapan. Give something because you have the capacity, you have the ability. It doesn't matter how much. Hindi naman kailangan mayamang-mayaman tayo para ibigay natin ang lahat para sumunod sa Panginoon. Just give everything you have. Remember the Lord when, she, when He saw No, the widow, the poor widow, giving no, for charity everything she had. Very little, no, kakaunti, kakarampot, no, nakayamanan na meron siya. But then the Lord said, It is this woman who gave the most, no matter how little she gave. At ito rin ang nais na ipaalala no, at iparamdam sa atin ng Panginoon. It's not about what we have. But how we cling to what we have. Gaano ba tayo kumakapit no? sa mga material na bagay sa mundong ito? At gaano tayo kumakapit sa Diyos? Saan ba mas malakas ang kapit natin? Sa kayamanan o sa makamundong uh, mga bagay? O sa Panginoon? Katulad din ba tayo ng mamang ito? Hangad din natin ang kaharian ng Diyos? Oo. Gusto rin natin pumasok sa kaharian ng Diyos. At isa lang, no? isa pa, maliit na bagay yung marahil ang inihingi ng Diyos sa atin. Hindi pa sapat, kulang pa. Share, no? sell, give whatever you have and give it and share it with the poor. No? So ang kayamanan ay nandyan. Ako ano man meron tayong kayamanan na tinuturing natin. It's not the possession, no? that uh, is evil but being possessed by our possession so that makes us that hinders us to to enter the kingdom of God kaya nga ang ganda ng pagtingin ng Panginoon kasi nakita niya mayaman ka meron kang kakayanan ikaw tayong lahat ang ganda ng pagtingin ng Diyos sa atin God is looking us looking at us with a loving heart and God loves us Because He sees also riches in us. And one thing is necessary. Share the blessing. Because you have the capacity. Make your possession no, a source of blessing for others. Become a blessing for others. Because the moment you become a blessing for others, the Lord will also bless you. Let us all stand. We now pray to God, our Father, for the strength to overcome the temptations placed in our way by the lure of wealth and security. With every prayer, we all say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continually show concern and support for the neglected and the downtrodden of our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who call themselves disciples of Christ may realize that what really matters in life is concern for others who are less fortunate than themselves. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may find the wisdom of seeking first the kingdom of God and of spending our life in its service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be consoled and strengthened by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may enjoy the victory of Christ in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those who we promise to pray. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, 
and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Father Teodoro Koch, who celebrates his ordination anniversary today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, give us the courage to remain poor in spirit and to follow the example of Christ who became poor so that we could become rich. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now, full of love and confidence, let us pray to God, our Father, in the words our Savior taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us give each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us everlasting life. Amen. Please stand. How beautiful the feet of those who announce peace and salvation, saying to Zion, Your God is King. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, 
He has the come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. How beautiful the feet of those who announce peace and salvation, saying to Zion, Your God is King. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech O Lord your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us offer our Racha Imperata for vocations in the Archdiocese of Lingi in the Gupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church. Let our answer be, grant through, our pra through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary, walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation, Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple, at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant to your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your Son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest's sons as they follow your Son, who is for Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us in the celebration of the Eucharist here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May you have a meaningful pilgrimage and please have a safe trip back home. And for our brothers and sisters joining us by a live stream, we also thank you for always be the, being there and one with us in the celebration of the Eucharist. Always rem, uh, be assured that your prayer requests and mass intentions are remembered here at the Minor Basilica. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to Thanks God. Thanks be to God. Now we shall have the prayer for the blessing and the healing of our sick brothers and sisters. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all sickness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now for the blessing of your religious articles, let us pray. 
in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may the rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles, and those who will use them, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.